the long-awaited Chopin funeral march from his second piano sonata in B flat minor. Here it goes. section. But I'll do that in uh, another series of tutorials. This one's going to focus on just the uh, dark brooding grim bit. Whew. All right. All right, so I'm going to do as much as I can on this YouTube tutorial, about 10 minutes worth. The rest of it is going to be on our website. As always, free to try. Go have a look over there. This sheet music is public domain at this point, so you can find it basically anywhere. Uh, IMSLP.org is my uh, library of choice for all classical music. All right, so feel free to subscribe if you feel I've earned it. Um, comment is always good. We can start it. All right, so we'll start with the left hand because there's so much repetition here. We should just get that out of the way. So for the first four or five, for the first half of the piece actually, or of this section, the left hand recycles the material verbatim uh, until it goes into D flat major. So while it's in B flat major, all you have in the left hand is this march, which just continues this kind of ostinato ceaseless. And then the right hand basically has the little melody dotted rhythm that carries the uh, theme. So, the left hand is 5, 3, and 1, and then 4, 2, and 1. So get comfortable with that move from 3 to 2, that's probably the little, the sort of slightly weird bit. 3 to 2. The, 
the uh, octave should be fine. So play that and get it totally done. Get it totally comfortable and second nature. You don't want to think about this at all. And that's basically the first half of the piece. That's the left hand. It's done. So we can focus on the right hand. Now the thing to notice is that the, the right hand has a thumb which mirrors the rhythm and march of the left hand. So you're going to have a lot of this while you play the theme at the top. Do you see? So the thumb is in line with the left at all times, at least for the first uh, long section. So let's do the right hand. We'll do the first two bars now. So we start with one and three. Don't worry about the rhythm for now. Let's do the notes and the fingering first. One and three, moving to one and three, but the thumb on G flat. A single B flat, and then back to one and three here. Then hold the B flat at the top, and the thumb moves up to G flat again while you're holding the B flat. Let's see. So once more, that's one, three. Thumb moves up to G flat. A single B flat, followed by one, three on F again. Hold the B flat and a G flat. Cool. So when we put that together, we have together, together, alone, together, together. So that alone note is the dotted rhythm. Now you can sort of do this by ear. You've heard this a thousand times, I'm sure. It's, it's so uh, pervasive in our culture that I'm sure you could just do it by remembering the way it sounds. But if you want to get technical about it, this is a dotted rhythm. So if I was to count it, it would be one E and a two E and a uh, three E and a uh, four E and a. Uh. So the countings that I'm doing here, I'm just breaking up one quarter note into four pieces at the sixteenths, and then uh, denoting each sixteenth with a sound E and a. Uh, right. So once more, that's one E and a uh, two E and a uh, three. Moving on, the next bar is identical. Two bars done. Moving on to the next two bars, we have You can see there's a lot of repetition in the bottom section, but we have something up top that changes. So right hand again. I'm going to play both to give you context, but focus uh, your attention now on the right hand top. So we start the same way, one and three. Continuing exactly the same way, one and three G flat. Another B flat on its own, back to this. So far it's identical. Now things change. We have one and five, then a four on C. Moving on to the next bar, we have a little grace note. So D flat moving to C and F, and it's kind of quick. You see? Moving on, a B flat alone, then one and three, G flat. We've had this before. Then another alone B flat. And then one and three F. We've had this before. Hold the B flat and this again. So even here, there's a lot of recycled material. So let me do that all again uh, with slow counting in sixteenths. One E and uh, two E and a uh, three E and a uh, four E and a uh, one E and a uh, two E and a uh, three E and a uh, four E and uh. okay. 
That's the first four bars. Moving on, we have this. So you can see there's a lot of repetition here, except that something is uh, added. It's like an extra layer. So before, what we just finished was... Right? Now, it's the same thing, but you're going to be adding a D flat above the B flat. So instead of complicating things, I'm just show you. It's this to start, one, two, and four. So before you had a three on B flat, now it's a two. Next, we have a one, two, four, thumb on G flat, a single D flat, and then back to one, two, four with F in your right hand thumb. Moving on. One, three, and five. Then this by itself, four and two, and then, so you have that grace note, five, two, one, two, and four. Moving on, alone, two and four, and then, one, two, and four. Then again, alone, back to one, two, four, F. Hold the top two. And this, thumb on G flat. Okay, cool. So we do that one more time with nice and slow counting in sixteenths to break it up. One, E. Also notice that the grace notes are before the beat, so it's one, right? That's what happens. Moving on, some new material. Left hand is obviously exactly the same, so let's have a look. two and five in the right then a five by itself and then so that was a grace note to one two four and that aligns with the left hand so this to start five on a flat grace note to one two four Alone on four, and then one, two, four, and then one and two, same notes. One more time with counting. One, E, and a, uh, two, E, and a, uh, three, The next bar is identical. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. That's kind of interesting, actually, because the way that I played it before and the way that I've heard it played was as though these two notes are eighths. like a little bit more than what I'm reading here and just noticing this difference. But that does sound pretty good. 
Oof, damn, I don't know which one's right. <laughs> Let's just go with what I have on the page. In my ear, I had it sound as though it was two eighths. But on the page, it's a dotted rhythm right away. <laughs> so I might have just learned it wrong. But anyway, I'm just teaching it to you as it is on uh, the page. So again, it's one E and a two. exactly the same. Oh damn, I did, that took way too long. Okay, so I'll cut it here. The rest of it's going to be on our website, so do have a look at that. You can find the music online. Subscribe, comments, good, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.